And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swat with the Sacramento Report. Coming up, you may not realize it, but if you place a 911 emergency call with a cell phone or wireless telephone, you may not be giving dispatchers sufficient information. My guest in this segment is Freddie Rodriguez, a member of the State Assembly from Chino. Thanks for being with us, and I know you have legislation dealing with this issue. I thought I'd ask you, first of all, uh, what's the problem? Well, the problem, Steve, is that if you currently call 911 on your cell phone, and if you don't give the exact location of where you're at, the 911 system, the way it's designed, is only going to show the longitude and latitude of your location. So that can be on the other side of town. So just think about it. If it's in a real actual emergency, um, it's going to take a while for them to get to if you don't, or if you're not able to tell them where you're located. And quite often, if you're calling 911 in an emergency, I mean, there's someone in my house or whatever, uh, you are in a panicky situation, and quite often you don't give the actual address of where you're located. Exactly. Or just think about it. Just think you're out of town. You're visiting a friend in another part of the area. Yeah. Uh, you don't know, exactly know that address or that street. And if an emergency occurs, that causes a problem. And oddly enough, that last year, over 26 million uh, 911 calls were made in the state of California. And close to 20 million of those 26 million were made via cell phone. Mm -hmm. So we see there is an issue. And I know there are some heartbreaking examples of uh, 911 emergency calls being made with cell phones that turn out to be real tragedies. Yes, uh, just a, po a point in case in the city of San Bernardino, uh, there was a young lady that called 911, but during her uh, emergency, she was not able to give 911 dispatchers her exact location. So because of that, it took officers close to half an hour to find where she was located. When they found her, she was deceased. Yeah, I read of, an, of another case where someone in Santa Barbara called 911, but the call got routed to Ventura. And then another case where a boy in Delano collapsed on the school grounds, and the call was made, and that call got routed to Canada by mistake. And, I mean, th these are terrible situations. Yes, yeah, so, and that's one thing we're finding out. I had a select committee hearing uh, that I'm on on local emergency preparedness, so I invited folks from the police departments, fire departments, and our local um, cell phone carriers mm -hmm. to talk about these issues. So they know there is an issue, they're working on it, maybe new technology as we move forward with that, but then oddly enough that the 911 system uh, fees weren't implemented since the early 70s. So that's a problem as well that we need to see how we can improve that funding source. Right, because obviously the 911 system was implemented first in the 1970s before cell phones. So now with so many people ditching their landlines, I mean, how are you, how are you going to fund? Yeah, I guess you have to find a funding source for all this technolo technology upgrades. Yes, because the, the 911 system was funded primarily on um, phone calls that were made via the homes, right? Your mm -hmm. hardwired phone lines, right? right. But now everybody's moving over to cell phones, so guess what now? That funding source is not really going to be able to catch up with the 911 calls via cell phone. So maybe that's something we need to look at uh, regarding um, charges on cell phones. I was going to say, are we perhaps looking down the line at uh, new fees on cell phones to fund this new upgraded 911 system? Yes, we're going to have to. I mean, it's kind of odd that on your cell phone, Google Maps knows exactly where you're at, but if you call 911, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. So it's just a lot of things we look at, whether it's an application or some type of technology that's put in the phone now, we can tell you where you're at, even if you're not able to say your location. I mean, the technology is there, isn't it? Yeah, it should be there, but it's just, it hasn't, nobody really hasn't brought it to the forefront to address it, like I am looking at doing now as we speak now. Well, it's, it's really interesting because so many people are using their cell phones now, as we mentioned, I mean, getting rid of the landlines. I mean, this, this is an issue that has to be addressed. Assemblyman Rodriguez, thanks very much for coming by and talking about it. We'll follow the progress of your legislation in the next several months. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on the Cal Channel, also on My Government On Demand and YouTube. I'm Steve Swat. Have a great day.